track of San Miganza. Hell on earth. You're gonna have to trust me. And why is that? He may have my soul. But he doesn't have my spirit. Any man who's got the guts to sell his soul for love, got the power to change the world. He didn't do it for greed. He did it for the right reason. Maybe that puts God on your side. To them, that makes you dangerous. Makes you unpredictable. That's the best thing you can be right now. Something God's is 500 miles from here. Better get moving. Well, that's what he said he would do. Well, I know Mitch pretty well. He uh, keeps his troops together pretty well. He uses an iron hand. He's very clever, very shrewd, uh, very partisan, and uh, I think he has some allergy toward Democrats. I don't know what that is, but it's, it was early gained. He'll tell you, you know, his members, you know, if you work with the other side on that bill any further, or try to accommodate, uh, I might uh, have a new job for you, I'll make you the ranking member of the journal committee or some lesser uh, place in the, in the structure. And then Grover Norquist wanders the earth with his white robe on. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, it's funny, but it's not funny because Grover Norquist has 95% of those Republicans who say, he says to them, don't you raise taxes one shred unless you reduce. So Coburn sticks in a thing to get rid of ethanol, six billion bucks, it passes, and Grover calls it a tax increase. That is ludicrous and deceptive. So he's out there, and he's, he's gonna ask him to deliver. And I, I think the thing that disappoints both of us, what can he do to you? He can't murder you. He can't burn your house. The only thing Grover can do to you is defeat you for re-election. And if that means more to you than your country and extremity, you shouldn't even be in Congress. But the next time you hear any politician, if in the range of my lovely voice, mellifluous voice, <coughs> croaking, if you have a, hear a politician get up and say, I know we can get this done, we're going to get rid of all earmarks, all waste, fraud, and abuse, all foreign aid, Air Force One, all congressional pensions. That's the sparrow belch in the midst of a typhoon. That's about six, eight, ten percent of where we are. So I'm waiting for the politician to get up and say, there's only one way to do this. You dig into the big four, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, and Defense. And anybody giving you anything different than that, you want to walk out the door, stick your finger down your throat, and give them a, the green weenie. And these guys are purists. And the thing that will destroy and has destroyed the Republican Party through the, through the decades of my existence is that they give each other the saliva test of purity and then they lose and then they bitch for four years and wonder how they lost.